Welcome to the Neuronauts Classroom. In this video, we are going to be exploring some facts about your brain. Welcome to your amazing brain. Have you ever wanted to know more about your brain? Well, we're here to tell you some facts about your brain. Your brain is the control center of everything you feel, think and do. It's much more powerful than any supercomputer you can find. Have you ever wondered how your brain might be like a bunch of bananas? Probably not. But a grown-up's brain weighs about the same as 10 bananas. This is about one and a half kilos. The outside part of your brain that you can see, although it looks a bit like a collection of sausages, is actually just very wrinkly. It is like a piece of paper that has been scrunched up with some bits showing on the outside and other bits folded inside. If you could flatten out your, your scrunched up wrinkly brain, it would be able to cover the top of a small table, like a tablecloth. Our brain is not firm or hard. They are very soft and delicate. They're soft and squishy like jelly. <laughs> You can make a jelly brain like this one. See our extra notes for links to videos showing you how. Because your brain is so delicate and fragile, your brain makes about half a cup of watery fluid every day, which it floats in. A bit like a bath inside your skull. This liquid or water protects your brain and stops it from being squished by its own weight. Here you can see the skull, the special water, and your brain. Your brain is made up of lots of tiny cells, called neurons, that send messages whenever you think, feel, or do something. The messages travelling around your brain go at speeds up to an amazing 430 kilometres per hour. Which is faster than a Formula One race car! Nobody's brain is connected up in the same way. All the neuron connections that allow your brain to do its job make a pattern that is as special to you as your fingerprints. Nobody else has the same pattern of connections as you. This is part of what makes you who you are. Have you ever wondered how many thoughts you might have every day? Your brain can come up with almost 50,000 thoughts in a day. That's a lot of thoughts. Did you know that your brain can't feel pain? It is the only part of your body that doesn't feel pain. Your brain knows when you are feeling pain somewhere in your body, but your brain does not have any way of feeling pain itself. This means that doctors could poke, prod or operate on your brain without you feeling it. But what about when you get an ice cream headache or a brain freeze? Brain freeze feels like your brain is hurting, but it is actually coming from the roof of your mouth. It's lucky that your brain doesn't really get frozen too, because frozen brain cells break and go all mushy. When your eyes see things, they actually see them upside down. But then, your eyes send the upside down picture to your brain, which changes the picture to the right way up. So do you see things the way they really are in the world around you? Your brain needs oxygen from the air to work. This gets to your brain through your blood, which gets the oxygen from your lungs. Your blood travels through lots of really thin tubes called blood vessels. If we stretch all the blood vessels in your brain out into one long tube, they would be about 100,000 kilometers long, which means they could go around the earth four times.
Just like a car needs fuel to go, you need food to get energy so you can run around, learn and have fun. But almost half of all your energy goes to keeping your brain working well, growing and making new connections. Adults need less energy for their brains as they are not growing as fast. So it's important to eat good healthy food to fuel your brain. Exercising your body and your brain is also really important for your brain to be at its best. Playing and using your body helps your brain to make new neurons and makes your brain think and learn better. You can exercise your brain and teach it how to learn and work well by doing anything that makes it work. Activities like puzzles, reading, playing music and making art are all good for this. Next time you don't want to go to sleep, remember that sleep helps your brain to remember all your memories from the day. And if you don't sleep, you could have trouble making new memories. So make sure you get enough sleep each night as you don't want to forget cool experiences and interesting stuff you've learned, like what you've learned from us today. Thank you for joining us at the Neuronauts Classroom for this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out our other videos about how your brain works. For more information, links and worksheets, please go to ccd.edu.au where you can also find more information about the Neuronauts Brain Science Club and how you can help scientists learn more about how your brain works.